right now we're talking about youth employment and you know it's been a problem for some time and we have here in our studios um, representatives of Yedie who would certainly brief us on how they plan to help um, you know, curb that problem. Uh, joining me is Kafui Mills Odoe, the project director of Yedie, um, which is a youth inclusive entrepreneurial development uh, initiative for employment in the construction sector. And Maureen Irekwa Odoe, uh, executive director of AABN. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to see you face to face. <laughs> you are so awesome. Thank you. Wonderful. I love you too. Thank you. Uh, before we carry on, what's AABN? <laughs> ABN yes. stands for the African Aurora Business Network. Okay. It's an enterprise development organization. Okay. We provide uh, business advisory services okay. and entrepreneurship training. Okay, so you are partnering with YDA on this project? We are a member of the consortium that's okay. supporting YDA with okay. business development services. Oh, okay, okay. So I'll come to you, Kafui, then. Uh, what is YDA? Well, I mean, the, the name is a mouthful, okay. but we, we, <laughs> it's a project that is targeting young people mm. between the ages of 17 to 24. Okay. Uh, our idea is to support them with employment skills mm -hmm. so they can find the necessary level, entry level. Okay. Proficiency one okay. level within the construction sector, okay. but the idea is to look at those who dropped out of school mm. between GHS and okay. senior high school. It okay. started 15, uh, 2015. Okay, yeah, it's a five-year project, and we are just around the last lap. Okay, so I think with uh, with what we've done, we've came together as a consortium. Okay, we have global communities. We have AABM. Mm -hmm. We also have Artisans Association of Ghana. Okay. Okay. We have uh, Opportunities Industrialization Centre, mm. Ghana. And then mm. we have, you can't do without money. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Republic, Very important. Republic wow. Bwafo. So okay. it's, uh, it's a subsidiary of mm. Republic Bank. So the whole idea is for us to ensure that young people can have the requisite skills to, mm. to engage properly. The yeah. construction sector now is a boom. Yeah, it's indeed. It's like the oil indeed. Um, sector indeed. now. It's a profitable and it is. area. And I think people should now start looking at technical vocational skills okay. as an area of getting employment and getting the right skills so that you can. Mm. If I had something like that, yes. I'll do what I'm doing in project management mm. and then go over the weekend and get what I have to do, do some uh, aluminum fabrication for some somebody's project <laughs> over the weekend, pocket that money. money exactly. Good. Yeah. It's good to have some side money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, how many, I'll come to Maureen, how many youth are you targeting mm. with this EADA mm. project? Interestingly, over the past five years, mm -hmm. we've been targeting 23,700 young people wow. to participate in this program. And they've all gone through it? I will be very, very excited to let you know. But then I will also <laughs> tell you that okay. more, almost double of that number <laughs> oh. are actually wanting to be part of this yeah. program. Amazing. But that's our target, 23,700 yeah. young people. Yeah. Yes. Over the period of five years? Yes. That was the target we had. Okay. And MasterCard is the partner that has invested funds mm. in this. But, I mean, as we speak, yeah, yeah we are around 23,600 and something. Okay. And we still have about 2,000 in, in training. But the oh, problem wow. is we are oversubscribed. Yeah. And I, I think Ooh. we want to uh, manage expectations yeah. whilst we are here. Okay, yeah. okay. Manage expectations mm. whilst we are here. But we want people to appreciate the fact that the yeah. construction sector is a huge opportunity. Indeed. They shouldn't just look at it as debt brick and mortar mm -hmm. yeah. but look at the whole value chain yeah advertising yeah you know focusing even media your focus can only be in construction yeah and you can also look at health in construction mm. you can look at well-being in construction nutrition okay. Okay. in construction wow and things like that yeah and so there are so many things that we can do and uh, I think once we, we have mm -hmm. AABN, for example, that's yeah. focusing on enterprise development, mm -hmm. startups, young people, mm -hmm. getting business advisory and business development skills. skills. That would really support. Okay, so it doesn't people. matter their background? No. Oh, or they no. should have had some basic education. Oh, yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. I mean, <laughs> GHS and SHS, okay. SHS. Okay. that's very important. Okay. But you should have maybe dropped out or maybe you didn't have the means to continue. Okay. Because you want to support those who are mm. disadvantaged Indeed. Uh, and all. So, but thankfully, the government is even focusing on TVET now. Mm. And free SHS is even opening more, Indeed. in fact, larger doors for people, people. to get in. 
Yes. And but specialization is mm -hmm. also very helpful. Mm -hmm. So that's also a window of opportunity. Opportunity. Yes. Okay. So are they assured jobs after? The model mm -hmm. is such that we AAEG, um Artisans mm -hmm. Association of Ghana yeah. is the hub which takes them through uh, the process of matching them to jobs. Mm. So we believe that if you have a model that trains people, provides them with business advisory services and startups and enterprise development, mm. etc., and then gets them into a setting that matches them to available jobs, yeah. then you can be sure. Then you know the demand. Exactly. Otherwise, you just be churning people left, right, center, <laughs> and Indeed. then there wouldn't be a need. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You know? Indeed. So that is actually part of the project. Part of the project. And we are looking at market systems, how we can develop those systems within the market okay. to strengthen them. And that's why we've come together as a strong force. But you can Amazing. see women in construction. Indeed. It's, it's, it's powerful, it? indeed. Yeah, yes. I, I'm always happy to see that. Yes. Uh, Maureen, how, how exactly is this project, project funded? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this project is funded primarily by a key partner, that is the um, MasterCard Foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And MasterCard Foundation, as we all know, is very interested in, in young people mm -hmm. um, all over Africa. And so uh, through the five-member consortium mm -hmm. group, we are bringing together our specialization. We are offering mm -hmm. specific support. And our business development services, we are focusing on helping young people start up. Mm -hmm. And beyond starting up, making sure they sustain their businesses. Okay. Because we all know that uh, businesses, even normal businesses with all the requisite inputs, most of them fail in the first yeah. three years, up to about 80%. But what we are focused on is making sure that these young people who have started will sustain their businesses beyond the three-year challenging period. Mm. And it's interesting for you to know, because last, uh, last night we received some interesting quotes from um, our field officers in Kumasi, and yeah. I like to quote this, uh, from DMP. DMP mm -hmm. is a group. Okay. of young people in the construction value chain. They've come together mm. and they're in aluminium fabrication. And let me read this to, to, to your viewers. Okay. Um, they say that the consistency of the business health check has helped us a lot in record keeping and being time conscious in delivering our services to our clients, end mm. quote. And this is very interesting because it's like four or five young people yeah. in the sector, gone through TVET, all the training mm. under YEDA, yeah. and they've decided to come together, not the usual one-man business. Mm -hmm five young people and they are doing Amazing. very well and they receive funding mm. through the YSEF funding okay. um, a startup uh, pot that yeah. enables them to start something small and beyond just starting they are sustaining themselves oh, and wow. they have employed Oh, so that's, that's the key. Exactly. If young people at that age can employ others, yeah. Yeah. then why don't we support them? And yeah. I call on all of us to support young people mm. to start, yeah. support them to sustain and to employ. Employ other yes. people as well. Exactly. Uh, um, can we understand that persons against, uh, sorry, persons with disabilities mm -hmm. are, are not left out in this project? No. Okay. So, so we're working closely with uh, Center for Employment of Persons with Disabilities. Okay. The, ask, the issue is we don't have a, a framework. Mm that identifies the different trees, so masonry, carpentry, mm. etc., and for and with opportunities for persons with disabilities. So which disability has space in which trade area? Yeah. Mm. So that's a challenge. Okay. So we looked at giving that opportunity for them to also engage. Mm. But with the window we are using is the entrepreneurship window. Okay. So because for now we don't have that policy or framework. Yeah. So why don't we do that? But the good thing is Cotfet has started something. Mm. And they have uh, they are working, they work closely with us. Okay. Uh, and they are working closely at trying to come out with something that will now give persons with disabilities mm. broader opportunities to have okay. trades or skills within the trade yeah. area. So let's see how that goes. But our entrepreneurship is the open window for them. Great. After that, what can you do within yeah. the construction sector Indeed. when you have business, you know, skills, skills as a young person with disability? Okay, that, that's actually pretty good. Yes. Uh, I'll take our uh, final words from both of you. I'll start <laughs> yes. with Maureen. Um, what? How do we reach you if we want to be a part of this? And um, okay, I'll, I'll start with that. How do we reach you if we want to be a part of this uh, program? Um, ABN, mm -hmm. uh, working closely with YEDA, we have innovation centers in five cities. Okay. And you can call us on 0244-383293. Website uh, www.aabn.org.gh. 
or you can also go to the website uh, Yedie and we'll also uh, be connected through that place mm. and um, I invite all stakeholders <laughs> out there to support young people want to use the technical and vocational as a career path yeah. it is very lucrative mm. and beyond lucrative it can also generate job opportunities mm. for other young people mm -hmm. we have seen it over the past five years and we are passionate because we've seen it work exactly. and the model works yeah. and the consortium model works and mm. we've worked I mean, consistently under her distinguished leadership as, a, <laughs> as an ambassador for young people. Yes. And I think that approach, coming together, is very important in this industry okay. to help young people move to the next level next of their level. careers. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And then with you, um, how does mental health also come in? I understand that you do support uh, mental health in some way. Uh, personally. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, and so the idea is how can we ensure that young people... Yeah. Uh, in schools uh, are greatly supported in ways in which they can be resilient. Yeah. So how do you deal with stress? How do you deal with anger? Yeah. And then with the elections coming, how do you get people <laughs> to appreciate? How do you manage loss mm. if you didn't win? Yeah. How do you how do you cope with that? Yeah. It's a skill people have to learn. Yeah. You don't just fight. Yeah. And so it's it's one thing that uh, I've been working really hard to advocate. Yeah. Uh, for personally and working closely with Accra Psychiatric Hospital. Okay. Yes, on that. So, okay. Well, if they want a sneak peek, I think you can just come on Saturday. And okay. See okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll do. Can you leave um, our viewers with uh, a way to contact you if we do want to get in? Oh, absolutely. In fact, for me, contact contacting me when you contact yeah. AAB and you've okay. contacted but it's Perfect. the women I want okay. to talk about. Young women oh. should yes. be mm -hmm. empowered mm -hmm. and they should go in for the male dominated skills. Yes. I think that is where you can earn more money, mm. you can be more independent, you can support your family yeah. and then you can also go higher on the ladder mm. and for me that is one thing I would want to stress. Okay. And women in construction is the in thing for today, for today and indeed. let's see how our young women can get in there. Thank awesome, you. awesome. So <laughs> we're encouraging all the women to also take part in this. It's a great initiative. Thank you so much, um, Kafui from um, Yedie and Maureen as well from AAB. And Thank I you. wish you all the best. And I hope that you also, um, you know, take advantage of this initiative. 